here's a story of a guy named Brad. No, I'm not. Don't worry. I'm not. I'm not going to do this. No, I can't. No, what I'm, last week, clearly I have nothing to do uh, before the show. And last week, I had this little thing where I, this puppet was going, ha, 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 ha. Singing and stuff, it was awesome. And then, not so awesome, maybe the 12th time we did it. And, but what they did was, because CBS really believe in me, as you can tell by the extensive advertising and flashy studio, they, uh, you know, they spent all the CSI budget on these. They must have spent upwards of four dollars. <laughs> what I think is amazing though, because the reason why this exists, it was because they were to clean the floor. This is to clean the floor. When you get a scratch on the floor, I'm like Martha Stewart of late night, aren't I? <laughs> when you get some, although I've never been to prison. Now, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I have been to prison. <laughs> Thank you. So, so anyway, I thought this week what I would do is that I would get all these things and uh, I would have them yodeling, you know, and create little cartoons where they talk to each other. Maybe on Friday night I'd have them, you know, having sex or something. <laughs> Did you just... Oh! It's a stick in a tennis ball! Don't you think you're taking this Puritan thing a little too far? Sticks and tennis balls having sex, what next? Furniture? <laughs> I got you these. No, I, I feel ashamed that I've not taken advantage of the... these. <laughs> or maybe I have. That's it. Please, save some for later. This is a very weak show. <laughs> you don't want to be giving up all your enthusiasm now because you'll wish you had some for later on. Because <laughs> it's crap. <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. Like, when you get to the end of the show tonight and go, why did I sit through that? I warned you. <laughs> You want to get on your blog now and complain about me now? Why? Why wait the entire show? That Scottish guy sucks! Ah! <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Happy President's Day, everybody! <laughs> Happy President's Day. Today, of course, a very solemn day in America. Uh, we celebrate President's past by getting a good deal on mattresses and big screen TV. <laughs> Thank you, Presidents. <laughs> George Washington and Abraham Lincoln used to have their own birthdays, but now all the Presidents are, are crowded in, which I think is a little unfair. It's like making the uh, Easter Bunny share a day with St. Patrick. It's not quite right. <laughs> oh, come here, little bunny. <laughs> here, did you ever shag a drunk leprechaun? <laughs> <laughs> Why, no, I didn't. That's the Easter Bunny. Uh, yeah, he's gay. Uh, oops, I just outed the Easter Bunny. I told you. Uh, oh, and also today, Hillary Clinton made her first official trip to the Far East, and she issued a very stem, uh, stern, stern, and a stem warning too. There was a stem warning she issued, and a stern warning she issued to Kim Jong Il, 
who she told stop wearing my pantsuits. <laughs> Doctors are saying that Michael Jackson might have a flesh-eating infection, which is very surprising to me, because I'm thinking there are parts of Michael Jackson that are still flesh. Where is that? <laughs> and... <laughs> Creepy. Uh... Lindsay Lohan and her uh, girlfriend, Samantha Ronson, cancelled a Valentine's Day club appearance due to illness. Apparently, Lindsay is sick of pretending to be a lesbian. <laughs> That's a joke. I know, I know. She's a real lesbian. There's nothing she loves better than, you know, <laughs> what lesbians enjoy. <laughs> And if you don't know what lesbians enjoy, maybe you shouldn't be up this late. <laughs> I'm not just talking about plaid shirts and golf, I'm talking about... Never mind. <laughs> anyway, it's not just President's Day today. You know what other uh, day it is today? This is day one, and I'm not kidding, of International Flirting Week. <laughs> <laughs> really? International Flirting Week. Do we have a graphic for International Flirting Week? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> International Flirting Week. Yeah. That's it. That's right. Welcome. Welcome to International uh, Flirting Week. <laughs> At first, I thought it was International Farting Week, and then I'm thinking, well... That's like every week for me, but... Uh... <laughs> Do you know what I did this weekend? I just have, I just, I digress for a minute, but this weekend, right, I was in my car outside the house. I was outside the house and I was leaning, I was in the passenger seat, right? And I was just getting something out the driver's side and my butt was right out of the car like that. And I was alone, or I thought I was alone. <laughs> <laughs> A noise happened. <laughs> a very loud noise. And just then, my neighbour walked out of her garage. And she must, it was an unmistakable, it couldn't have been anything else. And all she did was, she went like this, she went, oh, good morning to you. <laughs> so either when I make a noise, it sounds like good morning, or she's just very tactful. <laughs> anyway, it's not International Fl Farting Week, it's International Flirting Week, uh, where we're all supposed to, I don't know, uh, flirt internationally. <laughs> How lozy. <laughs> ah, see? Yeah. Do we have subtitles for that? This will help you. How lozy. Not in Chinese! <laughs> How lozy means nice ass. <laughs> You're welcome, Chinese people, and... And skilled children that want to be rude. <laughs> well, you know what I think? What is flirting anyway? I, what is it? I mean, if you smile, it's like flirting is you smile and you say hello. That, that's not really flirting. Flirting is uh, when you smile and say hello and you're not wearing pants. <laughs> well, hello to you. Good morning. People flirt in different ways, of course, but it all boils down to body language. The experts say that, you know, when a woman plays with her hair, she's probably flirting or has fleas. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, you've got a very deep voice, Mr. Ferguson. Thank you. I think it goes back to the time when we were monkeys, you know, when a woman would be grooming herself for mating. So you have to be careful when she starts throwing poop. <laughs> Because that means she's German. And... <laughs> what? They're into that! Come on! You know it, I know it. <laughs> Germans are like, we are, it's true. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think my neighbour might be German. I... <laughs> she's like, oh. Uh... <laughs> I made myself laugh. Well, that's good. Any, I'm reading up on the body language today because I think it's International Flirting Week. Now, according to studies, right, raising eyebrows and laughing, right, that means I have intense feelings. 
So, so if you're talking to someone and they're doing this, ah, ha, 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 ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm not sure if that means I have intense feelings or I've stopped taking my medication. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Where's that? And I, the body language is different where you go in the world. For example, in Tibet, if a person does this, they're happy to see you. I know, it's like upside down land. And in Greece, if a person does this, they're insulting you in no uncertain way. And Illinois, in the state of Illinois, if someone does this, it means they're the governor. Welcome back to the first day of International Flirting Week. <laughs> so, what have we learned so far? Uh, tennis balls on sticks are, are very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the idea of doing a recap of the show before we've done the show. <laughs> That's just the kind of thing that keeps the ladies interested. <laughs> You no, know, I, I actually, because it's International Flirting Week, I wanted to share a seduction tip with the gentleman. If you want a girl to really find you irresistible, here's what it is. Get your sock. Now, first of all, allow your trouser leg to ride up. <laughs> Quite innocently, maybe for reaching for a book or something. Or <laughs> Allow your trouser, and then allow your sock to just fall down. <laughs> and then the indentation that the sock makes. <laughs> that, that little area there, that little indentation drives the ladies wild. <laughs> yep, that's what they love. Because they think if, the, if the, the elasticated part of his sock makes that kind of indentation, what kind of indentation will his underpant elastic make? <laughs> and the answer is, of course, similar. <laughs> Do you know, I should go, I've decided, when I get kicked out of here, which has got to be days away, I... <laughs> I am going to become a motivational speaker. I'm going to share my tips like that, like, you know, when I accidentally farted near the neighbour and she thought I said good morning. Or tennis balls make a handy device. Or, you know, showing your sock. These are all handy tips. I'll be like, I'll be like Tony Robbins. <laughs> Telling people to be forceful by moving your arms when you talk. <laughs> be a winner by moving your arms when you talk. You can be a winner too! <laughs> I think when you move your arms when you talk and it's kind of on purpose like that, you just look like one of, somebody in an old-timey movie pretending to be Italian. <laughs> eh, what's a coming to go? <laughs> yes, a tussi frutsi ice cream! <laughs> and body language that works for Tony Robbins doesn't necessarily work for anybody else. I mean, Tony Robbins can do these hand movements because he's a giant. And I don't mean a legend, I mean a giant, an actual giant. He is. He lives on a magic beanstalk. He gets, he gets angry if you try to steal his singing heart. You know, once, this is true, I sat next to Tony uh, Robbins in a restaurant. I, he's huge. I was a little bit scared. I mean, I wasn't having, you know, lunch with him, right? And I was sitting there, and he was sitting over there. And, you know, I farted. He thought I said hello. <laughs> <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't happen. <laughs> then. It happened later. No, but he's huge. I mean, he's just, he's, what an enormous man he is. He was eating pigs in a blanket, but they were actual pigs in blankets. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Ah, be forceful. Ah, 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 ah. 
<laughs> I'm sorry it's a grisly picture, but somebody should tell you. <laughs> well, we've run out of time. <laughs> we'll be back with more of the show in a minute. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> During the commercial break, during the commercial break, I was thinking, you know, Van Halen. <laughs> you know when Van Halen say, might as well jump. <laughs> it's like they're not really enthusiastic enough. Do you know what I mean? It's like maybe they could be going, come on, baby, let's all jump. <laughs> they're like, nah, you might as well jump. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, jump. <laughs> come on, jump. Jump. <laughs> I'm confused as well, if it's any help to you. Uh, my first guest tonight is on a show called Bones, but he's not a skeleton. <laughs> or is he? <laughs> he is underneath. <laughs> In four and a half years of lame crap, that's the lamest thing I have ever said. I warned you. Anyway, he's in the show Bones, which is on uh, Thursdays on Fox. <laughs> but it's that would be me. Please welcome David Morianis, everybody. Adjusting. Oh, all right, we're adjusting. Quietly. You gotta adjust. They, when you sit, you have to adjust. You got yeah, all the adjustments. I, I'm adjusting, you know. and they're whooping like you're a beetle. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not implying, you know, like, not a scurly beetle. You know, a kind of, oh, my trousers, beetle. Oh, my trousers, beetle. Yeah. I liked your socks you had on, but there was one problem. What? Can I show? Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, ah. What, are you gonna do the sock thing? Yeah. All right, go ahead and do it. A key element, obviously, he had the black socks on. These are more the Dr. Seuss socks. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I, I can feel the heat. Right, you feel the heat? Yeah. Right, let, me get, let me get up. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 no we we'll do a little. We'll do a little. No, no, no. Oh! oh yes! There it is! The thing the ladies love! Yeah. That's it! <laughs> All right, so that's it. <laughs> wow! If that's the kind of indentation the elastic of your socks makes, what on earth does your underpant elastic do? Well, obviously. Hey, no, 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 I'm not going to go there. Um, I, I directed that episode. What, the episode? The this show or that? Uh, this show first. Yeah. And then I ran to Fox. I wish and you then would. I directed, <laughs> directed Bones. Or, or uh, you directed that episode of Bones? Yeah. So you cast all the strippers? <laughs> My wife helped. Yeah. Yeah, how does she? How does she help? Right yeah. Oh, she is. She is. Yeah. All right, we can With cut the this kid. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we can talk about that and cut it out. Yeah, yeah. Jamie? Oh, she's in the back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's outside, isn't she's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's by the back in the pool area. The, there's a pool area. <laughs> well, it looks. Like, hey, I can see my house. Is that Los Angeles? Uh, it, yeah. Yeah. It I is. don't know where I live. <laughs> sure. Somewhere in the back them. there. Tell them where you live. Nothing possibly could go wrong. <laughs> you don't think, right? No. no. No, everybody who watches this show is very, very sane. Ah, CBS. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> hey, I see you have intense feelings about things. I do. Very intense feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Can I share? You, have you been out in the rain today? It's very rainy uh, today. It's amazing how when it does rain in Los Angeles, everybody shuts down. <laughs> Nobody oh. drives. It's snow day. It's everybody takes a day off. Well, I, I didn't take a day off. I'm right here, buddy. Oh, and the rain's obviously stopped now anyway, so... Uh... See, I work at Fox. They gave me the day off. They did? Yeah. Those bastards. Oh. 
you get everything over there, don't you? You, you get the day you off, the day off, the mm -hmm. the money, free socks. They gave you the socks. <laughs> they did, yeah. You think I'd pay for this suit? <laughs> this is an old Bob Barker suit is from it? The Price is Right. Yeah. <laughs> did it come with a microphone? Yeah, yeah, it did actually. You know like the that. tall one, the stick. No, you no, you can't use that without training. Ood me. Why? I don't know. There was something to do with the, <laughs> Valentine's oh, going yeah. into President's Valentine's weekend. into President's Day. It's the big ooh weekend. I had a, did you have a good Valentine's? I did have a great Valentine. I, I got a you know what? I remember. <laughs> I got a vacuum to, cleaner. Yeah, I got a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> got the. He <laughs> got the Hoover. Are you mocking me? No. <laughs> Me. Why would I do that? They mocked me. Why I would never do let me that. Just, let me just recap on you coming out. You came out, you sat there, you showed your... You're mocking me! <laughs> I am not mocking you. Do you ever go to strip clubs to have a look at the strippers? Oh, see how they do it? I'm going to have a bad dinner tonight. Yeah, well, you know why? <laughs> because you came out and mocked me. Mock yes! You. Yes! I was going to stay away from the stripper stuff, but you mocked me with your flagrant use of I my salt. Flagrant! <laughs> I should have brought the strawberry lost dust with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. What, what is lost dust then? Is it, do you, would you put uh, it somewhere? Well, that's something they used in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can, uh, that's what I thought I could hear something. Is your phone going off? It is. Is it your wife? <laughs> <laughs> it's my wife. It's your wife. That's all Jamie. No, no, take it, take it. No, no, take, no, take no, it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I, got, I got to shut this off because there's a stage manor, manager over there who works for CBS yeah. who is really angry. Is that right what now. he does? I wonder who that guy was. He uh, told me, shut, I'm going to shut that off. Yeah, that's because there's like six calls from my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! I swear oh. it's gonna be one of those dinners. Oh no! I'm, I'm so sorry. I, ah. I don't. I didn't mean to bring that up at all. I went to. Uh, you know where I went? Where? I went to uh, Munich, the Munich Film Fest, the uh, the yeah. studios there. And you remember that film Das Boot? Oh yeah, yeah. It was about a boot. Yeah. <laughs> so. The, we the went submarine. To the movie. tour of yeah. the submarine, and they didn't. It didn't. Was we missed the English tour? Oh, so you got the German tour? Yeah. Oh, so you get the... They may have thought you were spies from the Second they World really War. Did. Hey, did you hear about the two subs that collided? Yeah. Amazing, I right? Know. Nuclear subs. I know. How unbelievable. I know. We're back. <laughs> How'd that happen? With nobody knowing. Well, look, you Major know, they, have, you ever seen a, have you ever seen a submarine? No. Any windows? No windows. So uh, that thing's going underwater. There's another submarine, no windows. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Yeah, it had to. Yeah, they yeah. can't see. But they are nuclear submarines, so there could be a nuclear... We could have problems right we, now. Yeah, the water could get a little bit hotter. Al Gore could really go, oh, 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 speed it up. <laughs> I know. It's frightening. I, uh, it's the, the French have nuclear submarines. They shouldn't They do? No. I mean, they do, yes. But... Where are they coming from? Well, they, they want to... They're protecting... What? Their interests. <laughs> the baguettes. No, no. The baguette. No, the French are, the French are uh, great at uh, marine biology. Jacques Cousteau was, of course, famously yeah, French. Yeah, and uh, yeah. This, the, the, um, the cuisine lady, the woman the, who drank the, whiskey, uh, cooked. Uh, uh, Julia Child. <laughs> she wasn't French. She wasn't? I don't think so. <laughs> no, was she English? No, no. She I was always she... smashed, though. Well, that... <laughs> Alcoholism knows no borders. It's an international. When sensation. she was cooking, she was like making duck and yeah. like drinking and making. Do you duck. know she was a spy? International spy. An international spy. No, that's true. Julia Child was a spy. She she had secret recipes. You know, oh. I, I, she did, right? No, she did. She yeah, did. that's true. Yeah, I yeah. believe that. I believe it too. I'm a spy. Do you believe it? Are you a spy? A man of who mystery. are you a spy for? I'm America. A man of mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who are you a spy for? Um. You know, I like to spy. What, spy like, versus spy, Mad Magazine. Oh, yeah, Remember hilarious. Those, those yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Can't get enough of that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I uh, like to spy on my wife. Oh. <laughs> too little, too late, buddy. I, <laughs> completely transparent. Well, I mean, is, come right? on. Yes, you're totally, It's going to be one of those dinners. It's totally busted. I'm taking, him out, taking her out for pizza tonight. I think you might want to up the ante there. It's good pizza. Hey, you better stick some bling in that pizza if you want this to go.
I got some diamond blades coming <laughs> yeah, in. That's Top right. of the road. Pepperoni and rocks for mama. Yeah. Rocks, baby. That's right. David Borean is everybody over there, everybody. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> Where I completely ran out of things to say. Well, how's the show going so far? David Borean has uh, introduced the idea of divorce into his relationship. <laughs> I know them, they'll be fine. It's all, everybody's kidding, it's all a joke. Everyone in show business knows each other. They all love each other, and nobody is a complete lying. <laughs> oh, wait, I am lying. <clears throat> My next guest uh, makes his acting debut in a new film, America, which premieres February the 28th on Lifetime. Now, I was going to spit, but you can't spit for Lifetime. That's not right, is it? <laughs> Take a look at this. Please welcome Philip Johnson, everybody. Philip Johnson. <laughs> Philip, welcome. Thanks. Welcome. It's very nice to meet you. I have seen the movie that you're in. Now yeah. that might you may think, well, okay, <laughs> you you should see the movie. But I don't I don't normally watch the movies that the people oh. are in. And do you know why? Why? Because I'm a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I watched, I watched <laughs> your, I watched the. You are sensational in this thank movie. You, this is the first you. time you've acted. Yes, my very first time. Wow. How, how, how did you get into it? How did, what happened? Well, I was at a um, restaurant in Detroit, downtown Detroit, called Small Plates, and Rosie Small O'Donnell. Small Plates is it a very small place? Uh, no. <laughs> it's ironic. It is. Right. Hey, gotcha. Hey. Gotcha. <laughs> but no, she was sitting like two who, tables over who, Rosie who, O'Donnell. Who, who. Rosie O'Donnell was there? Yeah, she was in the restaurant, actually. Oh. She was sitting two tables over, and um, I was with two of my cousins, two of my sisters, and my father. Right. And she kind of pretty much just came up to us and asked me if I wanted to be in a movie. Really? Yeah. And that's how you were in the movie? Because I know Rosie for a lot of years. She never once asked me to be in a damn movie. <laughs> <laughs> No, so she just, she wanted to be in the movie. Did you think, oh, someone's yanking my chain or something, well, right? we saw her at first when we got in the restaurant, but we didn't think it was her. We thought it was a lookalike. So, <laughs> we didn't think it was actually her until she stood up and introduced herself. And right. And then it was kind of like, wow, okay. Yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you have to audition after that? Did they make uh, you? Yeah, they had me, actually, they emailed me part of the script that night, and I had to memorize it for, an, um, for tomorrow, the next day. Right. Because that was when my audition was the next, very next day. You don't want to go learning lines. You make the other actors look bad. You know. <laughs> I, <laughs> but that, it's amazing to me that this. I've seen the movie, and mm -hmm. I mean, it's a very complex, very, a very difficult, very dark road that you're. Mm -hmm. This young man, yeah. this character is on a character mm -hmm. called America, and yet you play it with absolute authenticity. It's it's a remarkable performance. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna be an actor now? Is that it? Have Hopefully, you, I, I hope this will. I think know. I think you should. I, I, I think you should, because you're very good, and most people aren't. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> but the, uh, the, uh, what, what were you doing beforehand? What was your career plan before that? Uh, actually, I wasn't too sure. I was trying to um, get into school to be an engineer, but I really wasn't too sure. Right. I don't, I, that's gone, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you have an agent and everything now? I'm working on it. Working yeah. On it. Publicist? Yes. Pilates instructor? No, I'm working on that too. Yeah, you got to get the Pilates instructor, <laughs> yeah. the agent. Uh, you should get into some weird religious thing as well, if you should. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. find yourself something a little bit freaky. Uh, <laughs> and that's the way to go. What kind of movies do you like watching then, do you? Uh, comedies and action movies. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. What kind of action movies do you like? Uh, good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Would there, uh, <laughs> if I was to, to ask you for an example of a, of a good uh, action movie, what would be an example? Well, I don't know if this counts as an action movie, but I like Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider's the best damn movie ever made, son. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. 
Do you really like Ghost Rider or are you yeah, just yanking yeah, my chain? I'm not, I'm not. I really like We it. really like it. It's yeah. great. It's, it's a skeleton riding a motorcycle. Come on! <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Yeah, flaming skull. Flaming skull. Would you fancy doing a movie like that, perhaps? That'd be very fun. Yeah. But you, <laughs> see, Nicolas Cage, though, this is what makes him the greatest actor ever. He could be a skeleton like that. <laughs> Yeah, he can turn it on, turn it off. He can it turn it on, yeah. turn it off. He's, he's got it all. Yeah. It is a great movie, that, though, isn't it? Which I, you know what I like about it is that the fact that his hair goes back to normal after his yeah, skull has been on fire. Yeah, he his hair and his skin and everything else. You know, man, I go outside and stand in a light breeze and my hair is all over the place. <laughs> this guy's head turns into a flaming ball of fire <laughs> and then his hair goes back. And then it's perfect too. It when it perfect. comes back, it's perfect. Yeah. So you like the ghost? Uh, you, uh, do you like motorcycles? Do you ride that? Uh, not too much, but. What, what age are you? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Oh, you got your driver's license yet? Actually, no. I'm working on that too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your agent will get it for you. Yeah. Hopefully. No, no. I didn't get my driver's license till I was 27. Wow. Yeah, I know. Which is just as well because I was like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> gotta watch all that to you, or watch all that, yeah. gotta, you know, keep it, you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. So you still keep in touch with Rosie? Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. her for putting me in the damn movie, will you? <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. Congratulations on the performance. That is remarkable. Bob Johnson, everybody, we'll be right back. Now, my next band are, are I, I'm very, very, very pleased with them. Next the guests, they're a band. All oh, right, I've given it away. Now you know it's a band. <laughs> but well, they've got their CDs, got a little photograph thing at the back. So when you're on a talk show, you can go, my next band. Ah ha ha. I know. <laughs> they are uh, country rockers. Are here performing their number one hit, Chicken Fried, from their album, The Foundation. Please welcome the Zac Brown Band, everybody. The Zac Brown Band. <laughs> You know I'm like a chicken fry Cold beer on a Friday night A pair of jeans that fit just right And a radio Well, I was raised up beneath the shade of a Georgia pine And that's home, you know Sweet tea, pecan pine, homemade wine, where the peaches grow. In my house, it's not much to talk about, but it's still when love is grown in southern ground. And a little bit of chicken fry, cold beer on a Friday night, a pair of jeans that fit just right, and the radio. Oh, I like to see the sun. Of a precious child And know a mother's love, love It's funny how it's the little things in life That mean the most Not where you live, what you drive Or the price tag on your clothes There's no dollar sign on a piece of mind This I've come to know So if you agree, have a drink with me Raise your glasses for a toe To a little bit of chicken fry Jeans that fit just right And the radio oh, oh, oh. I like to see the sun See the love in my woman's eyes Feel the touch of a precious child And know a mother's love, love oh, oh. I thank God for my life and for the stars and stripes And may freedom forever fly Let it ring Salute the ones who die The ones that give their lives So we don't have to sacrifice All the things we love Like our chicken fries Cold beer on a Friday night A pair of jeans that fit just right And the radio See the love in my woman's eyes 
feel the touch of a precious child I know a mother's blood, love But get your little chick fry Cold beer on a Friday night A pair of jeans that fit just right And a radio up I like to see the sun See the love in my woman's eyes Feel the touch of a precious child I know a mother's love, love Look out for the sequel in the fall, Ghost Rider Kitten. <laughs> he's from hell, and he's adorable. <laughs> All right, what did we learn on the show tonight? Well, I, I just got a call from David Boreanaz, and he and his wife are in therapy now, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> he was really mad at me. When the commercial break came on, he was like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> when you're the one that had the strippers in front of you, not me, not me! <laughs> uh, we also learned the trick to drive a woman wild. <laughs> Sock ridge. <laughs> Sock ridge loving, I call it. <laughs> Sounds like a country band, doesn't it? <laughs> Welcome to Sock Ridge Living. <laughs> we also learned tonight a very important piece of stuff, which was how lu zi means nice ass in Chinese. <laughs> oh, and we also learned that when I fart, sometimes it sounds like good morning. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night.